traders, FS Picoletti here. Today is Thursday, October 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course. So, anyways, gold on the monthly, I still think is extremely, extremely clearly at one two three there's still no evidence that the wave three is over we have no Fibonacci bounce no lower high we still could get a lot more upward movement for this wave three eventually it's gonna have to make a big pullback for a wave four and a wave five but it definitely doesn't have to do that now so going down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame even on this time frame the trend is for sure up there's no Fibonacci bounce there's no uh, lower high there's no reason at all to say that the wave three is complete yet going down to the daily time frame. Now, on the daily time frame, this move down does look pretty corrective. For me, the last stretcher level is right here, so the trend is up even on the daily until we break the stretcher. Now, if it goes down and breaks that stretcher, I'll be more than happy to start looking for sorts, but I don't really think it's going to do that. I think this move down is likely a cut into this last wave up, and I think this will likely keep on trending up at least to one of these higher Fibonacci extension levels. Going down to the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, I do think this is an ABC credit. I mean, I definitely see five ways. Looks like A. I see three ways. Looks like B. I see one, two, three, four, five. It looks like C. Now, we have CPI inflation data coming out today, and we technically haven't hit the 61%, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did jump down one more time just to grab some liquidity, take everybody out, and then maybe the CPI data will be what causes this to continue the uptrend. For me, it's not really confirmed to be going up until we have a confirmed break of structure on like the four to eight hour, 12 hour time frames. So going down to the one hour time frame, the trend is definitely, definitely still down. And like I said, the fact that it didn't hit the 61% is kind of a clue that even if it does go up, it might actually go down one more time at the news. And then if it reverses, if it breaks structure, I'll definitely turn it into a buyer. If it does not reverse and does not break structure, I would continue to look for sorts, especially if you are trading the sort of time frames, I would definitely continue to look for sorts on those sort of time frames until you see a confirmation of a real turn with a real breaker structure. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.